Claire is here, and you're talking about concierge services, which I've always mm. thought sounded so fancy. It does sound so fancy, but yeah. my idea of a concierge, and I don't know if you've ever used them before in the no, hotel. No, because they sound so fancy. No, no, you got to tip them so much, don't you? Not really. Really? No, for a basic reservation um, request at a fancy hotel that you might not be, I mean, a restaurant that you might not be able to get reservations at, they might be able to, or show tickets or theater and tickets. And so what would an whatever. appropriate tip be for that? Well, depending on how hard oh, it is, say it's right. simple restaurant reservation, $5. And okay. if it's if they get you in to see Hamilton, okay, right. you might want to tip them a bit more. Hamilton, the the show in the show. New York, it is the Broadway show. The Broadway I you show. Meant George Hamilton. Go yeah, ahead. it's tough to get tickets, so you tip big, okay? Good to know. But that said. I did a little bit of research on what some hotels are doing for their guests, and I didn't even know some of this existed, so I thought it would be kind of fun to share. There's a little bit of something for everybody in here. So the first one is the Constellation Concierge, and this is at the Montage Hotel in Park City, Utah. They have someone on staff to give tours of the night sky. Really? Because it's so clear and so beautiful. And I thought, oh, that's kind of a neat one. The that's next cool. one is... If you're a runner, um, this is cool because uh, there's running concierge at most of the major Western hotels across North that America. That is a great idea because you might get it lost. Is. Yeah, you <laughs> might get lost. Wow. And they do group or individual runs. And, you know, they're, they're trained. In fact, to be considered for that position in those hotels, if anyone wants to do this as a job, hmm. you have had to run a marathon in the past year. Oh. So they're, so they're trained. Good Half you marathon doesn't count, count Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Half so count. this is Half more for the walk. girls in, out there. Um, or the guys who like these really hard to get sneakers, you know, they, I don't know, are Yeezys really right. in, but uh, there's a sneaker stylist oh at the Dreams God. Hotel what? in New York City. What they do is they help that you access. Cool for me. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So rare or limited edition sneaks, who knew? And the next I'm one. I'm sorry, so this concierge finds those sneakers for you? Yep. In, oh, in your size. I can't believe that's a thing. I can't either. <laughs> um, the next one, you boys will probably yeah, like this, like right? This There's a craft beer concierge at the Hotel Vermont in Burlington. So he educates guests on all things ale, tours of microbreweries, like the microbrewery scene in Vermont, and suggests really cool bars or lounges that have craft beer on tap. So mm. who knew? The last one, the romance, uh, romance concierge. So oh. basically anything that you can dream up, the St. Regis Resort in Bora Bora, French Polynesia, you they'll do for you. But you have to get all the way to Bora Bora, which is really expensive. That said, this is not about really, you know, you go going to these places, you guys. This is more about knowing that a hotel, if they have a concierge, they will do whatever it takes to make you happy. Whether you're trying to impress a date or your wife or girlfriend or whatever it is, or you have a special interest, ask them because they know. They know those uh, That's towns. That's the thing. They know everything. They yeah. They're like shoe shiners. Mean. They know everything. They the know one everything. Time <laughs> I did stop at a concierge desk with my kids to get directions. All of a sudden, she's pulling out coupons for us. Yeah. You know, they have coupons. So you they can, do. Yeah. They have so much information. A lot of them have really good detailed maps, and they'll highlight yes, the routes exactly. for you. That's why I stopped. And they'll print out your, your boarding passes for you. Okay. You do tip them, but the average tip is between 5 and right. ten dollars. It's not okay. hundreds it's not, it's of dollars. You don't have to yes. throw fifties and hundreds at them. Unless they're getting you Hamilton tickets, Unless right? <laughs> Hamilton. Or J Lo or those on a shoes. Show in Vegas. Got it. All right. Okay, I've got some